shit i don't have to shit but you know you know what it is hmm. got a bunch of dumb shit to talk about tonight Ooh, hell yeah hell yeah for all you fuckers at, at work right now what oh, up yeah and also it, it'll help break up the monotony of your bullshit ass job because hey. we know you got a bullshit ass job let's fuck that job let's fuck that job let's fuck your that job, job ain't shit <laughs> you quit, you quit for less either is your mom either is your mama <laughs> goddamn <laughs> Well, I know we can open with. What's up? But we'll get there in a minute. Episode, wait. I think it's 206? Yeah, 206. 206. Episode 206. Deuce 06060, motherfucker. Welcome to Shoot the Shoot with Zeke. Here's one of our and Brian. It's your boy Zeke, a.k.a. Big Dick Daddy from Cincinnati, a.k.a. New T Foodist, a.k.a. Vishon. It's Israel, a.k.a. The Quiet Right, a.k.a. The Rag. The Rag. The Rag. And it's Brian. A.k.a. A word? Why is this always happening? Uh, I don't know. Why is this always happening? AKA, okay. <laughs> stack those bodies, bodies on top of bodies. I got a new one for you. I got a new drop for you, and I'll bring it next week. Black Panther. Right. Just uh, cover your ears, people, because it's going to come in. Bodies on top of bodies. Hey. Finally. Perfect timing. <laughs> bodies on top of bodies. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Where's my... STS420. STS 420. STS 420. That's how we get down in the in the Dizown. Hey. My Brizown friends. You bitches. Bitches. I heard that album. It's fucking oh, dope. Which one? Scion. Oh, the Scion Right, dude. Yeah. It made it on number one for a while. That was really fucking dope. Yeah. I liked it a lot. It, it that, really that, the opening song was fucking it. fire. Yeah. It really gives it like a really kill switch engaged. That's what like I was thinking too. Like I was like, feel. man, I really fucking like that I album. Was like, it's only yeah. like for the listeners, it's only like what five, six songs, something like that. I think so, six or seven, something like that. Yeah. It's like it, it's there. less than thirty minutes or maybe thirty minutes. Check it out, Scion, lead the ex lead singer of Kill Switch Engage and Jared Dines I don't from know YouTube. Is. Okay, there you go. Yeah, shit is fire. Yeah, don't fuck around with the fuck around. Fuck around and find out. And if you're not going to listen to it next week, that'll probably be the intro, intro and outro. outro. So. Nice. But this week, I got some different shit. This is so fucking catchy, this intro song. But the original, this is like a remix. The original song is ass to me. <laughs> I, I don't like it at all. It's very like female Simon and Garfunkel-ish. Ooh. Yeah. But this remix is fire. <laughs> all right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Is y'all ready to get this whole rolling? I'm down. Let's do it. Sure. Oh, my God. Here oh we go. Episode 206. Told you. This? Their the original band is Daisy the Great. Okay. But that one features some dude named AJR. But the I'm telling you the original version, if you listen to it, it's ass. It's just acoustic and like I don't know. I just didn't like it. Hmm. But I found the original version first. And I was like, what right. the fuck is this shit? <laughs> How'd you I, find this? Well, I skipped to the next song and it was like if you know, Spotify is all like, if you hated that one, you'll love this one. And I was like, <laughs> okay, that's fire. That's dope. I like this. That's very different. I like it. It's very yeah. upbeat. It's yeah. it's chill but upbeat. Yeah. I don't know. I, I liked it a lot. I was like, that shit is dope. I like it. Yeah. I, so I definitely want to hear it again. For the listeners on YouTube, that was the great Daisy or Daisy Great, whatever the fuck, featuring AJR. Go check that out. That's really dope. AJR. Great Daisy. Yeah, I don't know. And then his he's the outro and his music is not like that at all. Really? Yeah. I wonder who remixed it then. Some dude. I checked the song credits, but I forgot. Melvin or I don't know. Either way. So, so should we open this off with how we closed the last episode? 
I don't even remember how we close it. We close it off with sunny side down. <laughs> and, that, <laughs> and, and that is like officially in the Urban Dictionary now. <laughs> Shout out to Navar's dad. <laughs> Facts. Bro, Shout out to Navar for getting it official. Bro, I was editing that episode and Brian's anger about this man shitting on someone's shoe had me fucking dying <laughs> laughing. How do you shit on someone's shoe? <laughs> Because he's not fucking 80. He's just like, okay, was, I'm just going to shit. It's funny. I was like, I was like really thinking about it on the way to Houston. I was like, wait, how the fuck? Like, what was he really doing? Like, I feel like he was maybe like squatting, like with his ass below the stall. That's like the only way I can think of. Right. No. Uh, unless he's like shaking his ass violently, violently. side to side. Yeah. Oh, maybe. And the shit <laughs> kind of like goes under the stall divider. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck, man? Seriously, <laughs> just fucking carry around a fucking thing of Clorox wipes and wipe the fucking seat. I feel like that, like yeah, like there's technology has improved so much. There, there are ways around avoiding public oh, yeah, toilets for sure. But his dad is just willing to make his masterpieces. I guess, but then again, he's also like what sixty something. No, I think he's in seventies. No shit. Yeah, or probably beyond. I, I want to say he's close to eighty. <laughs> God damn, so he really doesn't need depends. Yeah. Wow. I, I, I think. I'm if, not too sure. If Navarre comes in here, we'll ask him, but I, I don't know how old he is. He's he's definitely older though, because he, he's yeah, he's older, but not gonna lie, he's been pulling bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Out there on Tinder and shit. <laughs> ChristianMingle.com. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm pretty sure it's fucking uh uh farmers only. Probably. I, I guarantee you, if we looked, if someone looked it up right now, there's there's got to be like some type of special Aggie dating app or something like that. Oh yeah, because if not someone needs to make it. Yeah, they would make a killing. A yeah line, but I guess it's because like it's you know that school. Oh yeah, that you probably know, makes sense, they they yeah. want to like hey if you're gonna make something out of us you you gotta either be one or you gotta pay us. Yeah, because yeah. I also I don't, I don't think they'd like to be, they would want to be exploited like that. Right. Yeah. Like, oh, you, you go to, you know, you go to A&M or, or you're an Aggie or whatever, fucking come get some Aggie puss <laughs> on our on our Aggie app. <laughs> you can th- well, you know, they could sell and be like, yo, this is created by one of our very own, you know, uh, alumni members or whatever. Right. There you go. And then that shit pulls in millions and they're like, yeah, he's successful because of us. Hey. All because he was a horny bastard. <laughs> decided, to, decided to put his dick out there. Hey, you want some AD? <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, yeah. I just have like, just a bunch of crazy bullshit. I wonder one of their slogans. I know we love our yellers at the football games, but we also love our yellers at in the, the she- bed in the sheets. <laughs> in the sheets. <laughs> We're like geeks in the classroom and freaks in the sheets. Hey. <laughs> ah damn! Didn't get too hard or what? Nah, time to change the coil. Ooh. Mm. <coughs> I've had it for like three weeks. A la verga. God damn. Yeah, this juice used to be clear. Now it looks like black. Now it looks like piss. <laughs> Jesus. All right, what is, let's open up with. Huh. How about this? The, the woman breastfeeding her hairless cat on a Delta flight. Wait, what? Yeah. She breastfed her cat. Her hairless cat. Hairless cat. On a fucking... What the fuck? On an active flight. Is that how? Is that how you get on the no-fly list? I feel like that's how you get on the no-fly list. <laughs> that's one of the ways. Yeah. If it's not, it should be. Other than, I would yeah, hope so. Other than doing dumb shit like yelling bomb or something like that. Yeah. That definitely <laughs> made the like list. Bard. I look like <laughs> Yeah, breastfeeding animals, yeah, that that should definitely be up there. Yeah. If I'm being quite honest, I think breastfeeding a child is a little weird in public, but hey, no shame. A cat? A yeah. fucking yeah. cat? <laughs> that that that's just beyond. That's, that's weird. crossing the fucking line. Like I get yeah. I get it for kink reasons, like, oh, it feels good on the nipple. Do but, it in the bed. But do it in the bed. Yeah. Like do it yeah. do it do, at your house. Do it at home. Yeah. I mean but, you know, how how is it not hard to fucking, you know, just be like, All right, you know, I I've been, I'm feeling a little kinky. Come here, cat. Or just be like, you know what? This cat's hungry. I'm going to bottle feed it or something. Yeah. Or, you know, pump it and then fucking give like a fucking, you know, bottle to it. Yeah. I don't know. There there are some things that are just completely unacceptable anywhere. I don't give a fuck. There's some that 
some things that super cross the line. <laughs> that's I one. Think, of the- I think this is this is has to be one of the reasons that they're like, all right, the only animals on planes now are dogs, and they have to have a certain weight limit because they don't want to see someone breastfeeding a, a hairless cat. You know, if you were sitting next to that bitch, how would you feel? I'm elbowing that hoe and running. I'd be like, I'm next. <laughs> <laughs> Dibs. <laughs> well, I feel like it's usually like the people who do this kind of shit. You Make, don't want. You yeah. don't want anything to do with. Elon. Yeah, facts. Facts. Because you, you know, just, you know, she's going to have like, she's going to be like three hundred pounds. She's going to have like one lazy eye. Jesus let me let me look Christ. her up and let me see what she actually looks like. Hold on. <laughs> Ron's going to take it back. <laughs> Oh, there you okay. Well, remember, I just typed in woman. And, okay, well, there's a picture of the cat. Okay. We know what that thing looks like. Obviously. Well, what does this bitch look like? On Delta Airlines flight. If it was in, like, the lobby, that would still be weird. But at least but they could take the her flight, off the flight. Yeah. On the flight? There's no pictures yeah. of her. They're doing her a favor by hiding her fucking face. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I wonder if she has kids fucking or not. Delta? God damn. Is huh. that a more That's higher end flight or what? I don't know. I mean, I I've I've flown on Delta before, but those were usually um transatlantic flights. So What's that? Across the Atlantic. Oh, okay. So So she was going overseas. Not always cuz I don't know what all they cover, yeah, because I I'm sure they probably do domestic and international. So, mm. so this is this is a screenshot from the uh, from the cockpit. Yeah, it says a uh, uh, required red coat meeting. Uh, passenger in 13A is breastfeeding a cat and will not put cat back in its carrier when flight attendant requested. So that's legit. This bitch was really breastfeeding a fucking cat. Jesus Christ! On a moving airplane. All right. I would have stopped right when the lady was like, hey, can you put that cat away? I'm like, oh, my bad. You know what? I fucked up, you know? Because I feel like there's a uh, <clears throat> there's a social contract that you sign whenever you agree to jump on a plane. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, it, it's like an unwritten code, but right. like, like don't, don't be weird. Don't clip your fucking toenails next to me. You know what I'm saying? Don't do, yeah. sh- don't yeah. do weird shit like that. Let's just... Just write it out, yeah. and then once we land, you can do all the weird shit you if, want. If you're flying from coast to coast, all you got to do is be cool for six hours. If you're flying from Texas to Cali or Texas to New York, it's three hours. Right. Just be cool, man. Don't pull your cat out and breastfeed that fucker. <laughs> yeah. Or your dick. <laughs> yeah, or your dick. There's a bathroom for that. You lying. Oh, your Madre yeah. calling? Go ahead. Beasy, what would you do if if you were sitting next to somebody with a, with a while well, breastfeeding a cat? Would you flip out or would you just walk away? Uh, I'd probably hit the uh, Flight, assistance the button. Assistance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ding. No, you just dropped the oxygen. <laughs> nah, I would have just been like, ding, 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 ding. Get this bitch out of here. <laughs> can I get some headphones? <laughs> can, can, can someone put this like lady all the way to the back? Or that, that, I think that's whenever I'd fall off the wagon. I'm going to need some drinks. <laughs> if I got to sit next to this bitch, I'm going to need some drinks. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You move her or you move me. Yeah. Or this plane goes down if I start hitting that that bottle. <laughs> I mean, you roasting just, all you, you motherfuckers. Decide. Well, all they have are the little bottles. I haven't so. drank in five years. All I need is half one of those. <laughs> Ooh, shit. <laughs> My tolerance is at absolute zero right now. <laughs> He's going to start roasting everybody and be like, this guy, this guy's flying the fucking plane. Fuck this guy. What's your name? <laughs> it fucking sucks. It fucking sucks. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, shout out to that bitch. So wait, what ended up happening with her? Did... Like Are I said, like, I, I don't know. Is she actually on the ban list or what? I mean, like you got to assume, or at least a hefty fine. Yeah, because I don't. That's not like jail worthy. I mean, I don't. I don't think, I don't so. think it's jail worthy at at the I'm most. Surprised it's fine worthy at at the most. Uh, I'm thinking she may like maybe like. Ah, uh, see that that's one of those weird things because it's like. Is it weird Should it enough? be public indecency? 
Maybe. Because, I mean, like, technically but you're not doing it to a kid. To a kid, yeah. yeah. So, it, would it be public indecency? I don't know. But the other thing is is that it it's... Because I can't the, find The another, cat didn't need it. Right. I can't find another reason why you would need to do that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? What's crazy is, is that <clears throat> we can... When it comes to flying, travel at least... There's, you can actually say there's a first time for everything. I don't, t- in my memory, I can't ever think of hearing where another time where a woman breastfed a cat. Yeah, I can't either. She can't broke. Either. She made history with that shit. That is a terrible way to go down in history. For real? <laughs> no, no, I got, I got you beat. You oh ready? shit! Oh shit! Mm-hmm. Where's it at? So, Ramat Ali. Killed after co-worker Sh- Shazada Khan inserts industrial pipe into his anus and pumps air into it. And they put, quote unquote, for fun. Wait, hold on. So they put like a pipe. Yeah, like one of those metal industrial pipes in his, his ass, ass and blew air into it and he died. Now, would you rather go down to history for breastfeeding a cat or go down to history for dying because you let... He either let this guy or they forced this pipe up his ass for fun. Sadly enough, I think there's a lot of people who still do that. Oh, yeah. That's happening right now as we speak. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> yeah. like, if someone's doing it while they we're, listen to the podcast. We're 17 minutes in. Guarantee you, per minute, this has happened to 17 people. <laughs> Eli. Motherfuckers are into some crazy shit. No judgment. Do what you Man, do. Do what you do. Do Just, what you need to do, but keep it at home. Just don't Keep die. Just home, don't people. die like the homie Ramat Ali. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at work too. It says a coworker. Shit. Uh, why? For fun. Fucking stupid. Well, it says for fun. So like I was, I was telling Sarah, I was like, there's only two ways that this happened. Is either he was like this, it was his idea, or the dude was held down. Yeah, I would but, say it's his idea. Yeah, if, because if it, it says, says for fun. fun yeah, yeah, it's definitely his idea. Because they would have like put it down as rape. Yeah, if it wasn't yeah. uh, sodomized or something like that. Yeah. 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 I mean, imagine like the interview. What happened? Uh, well, he said he wanted up his ass, and then yeah. we found a leaf blower, and we're like, "Fuck it, <laughs> <A> leaf blower." <laughs> shit. We wanted to see if he makes a noise. <laughs> Let's see if his if his cheeks blow up like a <laughs> fucking <laughs> <laughs> make it sound like a fucking uh those windpipe fucking organs. Oh like, yeah, yeah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a pretty fucking bad way to go out. Yeah, yeah. I wonder. I wonder who blew in the the air. Where did it come from? The air. I think I it was his coworker. It was co. It was. Oh yeah. But I mean, uh, what they used to blow yeah. in the air? Because it was. It might have just. Because it don't uh, take it. It really does not take much air to. Bro, I'm not. I'm rupture not, your shit. I'm really? not. I'm not gonna yeah. s- do the siphoning gas motion with a pipe up some dude's ass. For real. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, it's not a blow dart. First of all, like, even sticking something up your ass, that's that's a thing that I'm just like, nah. Like, if I was at work and someone's like, yo, man, you want to do something crazy? What's up? Sick this up my ass. Nope. Nope. Mm-mm. I wonder how many people he asked was like, yo, you, you, you want to stick a pipe up my ass <laughs> before someone bit on that? They were like, yeah, you fuck it. Fuck it. You know, yeah, let's see what we get an hour love. We get an hour lunch break. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> You've done this a billion times. Yeah, you could just pull it out. Okay, cool. Turn that motherfucker into a, bal- a lethal balloon animal. <laughs> what a dumbass. It's one of those situations where, like, you can't feel bad for him. Me and yeah. You're like, because, I mean, it's, it, he didn't, oh, technically, it sounds like he did it to himself. Pretty much. He kind of asked for it. Well, that guy's a dumb shit. Hey, at least his friend can say he, he can lay some pipe. <laughs> But um, hey, I'm here all night. Yep, unfortunately. <laughs> all right, here's another one that I saw in the fucking wacky headlines: Alabama man arrested for attacking neighbor with a shovel after neighbor allegedly told him bush light tastes like water. <laughs> what the fuck? He ain't wrong. That's <laughs> that's the most Alabama shit I've ever heard. That's the most redneck shit I've ever heard. Holy shit! Brian, that makes you sound f- sophisticated. Well, that makes all of us, because we're all in the South. <laughs> so yeah. It makes all of us sound pretty fucking sophisticated. <laughs> I'm not attacking someone with a goddamn shovel 
Because he said my favorite beer tastes like water. <laughs> yeah. First of all, if that's your favorite beer, that's the fur album right there. Yeah. Yeah. Net, was it, what did you say? Bush Light? Yeah, yeah Bush bro. Light. Bush Ooh. Light taste. That tastes like diluted fucking horse piss. Yeah. That shit is gross. I've I feel had, like Heineken tastes like sparkling water. Really? Yeah. I just that's never, just me. I just never liked Heineken. It's just too hoppy for me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I would drink it if it was there, but it was never my, yo. Go to. You yeah, got, one, you got me, any Heinekens? <laughs> yeah. yeah. For for me, uh, I think once I hit like 22 or so, just beer just wasn't a thing for me anymore. Yeah, I can feel that because it like a, a lot of people will say that it just takes too much to get drunk or to get a buzz. Right. So that's why like a lot of people prefer like the liquors. The liquors. Mm. It's just easier to throw those down the hatch and after like two or three mixed drinks, you got a nice little buzz going. Yeah. Right. Depending on your tolerance obviously, but And when, you're not all gassy and bloated. Bloated, yeah. yeah. Like especially I especially with the yeast. I know for me it was like especially when it came to beer, it would honestly take a good a good 12 pack before I would really start to feel it. Jesus yeah. Christ. But with liquor? No. <laughs> liquor, <laughs> liquor, so liquor, ain't, <laughs> liquor ain't nobody's friend. Like, it'll fuck you up no matter what. <laughs> that yeah, shit'll yeah, get nah. to you. Especially that Pinnacle Vodka. That's, to this day, I cannot think of a, a worse choice to get drunk on. Jesus. It's Christ. just so good. That in flavor like, or. Just yeah, because it's, it's like it's it's like uh, whipped cream vodka. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. so you put that dangerous. in root beer or in uh, orange soda, anything. and it's fucking delicious. Anything? <laughs> oh, that's gross. Anything? <laughs> that's fucking nasty. Hennessy. Yeah. Yes. I don't see how people like it. I remember it's when they disgusting. when they were all like, "Yo, man, I heard you didn't like Hennessy, or you never tried Hennessy." I was like, "No." And they're like, "Well, here it is." And I was like, "All right, cool. Tried it." Ooh. I don't see how people like. Like it. no joke. I mean. I think I've said. I, I think they literally just drink it because it's like a a thing. It's like a pop culture. Yeah, it's, it's like a yeah. pop culture thing. Right. Like I've said before, like I've that. I've never gotten drunk on Hennessy, but the I took a shot of it and I was like, "That's fucking nasty." Yeah. As an alcoholic, that's fucking nasty. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't want any of that. It tastes like toilet water. It just. I, I know the big thing was was the uh, what is it? The Incredible Hulk's. Uh, Henny and Red Bull. No, it was uh, Henny and um, that blue liqueur. Oh, Hypnotic, my bad. Hypnotic, yeah. yeah. So you mix them together and it's green. Fuck that. And It tastes like shit. Yeah, apparently mm -hmm. it tastes like shit. I, I think I might have tried to sip before and I was like, this is fucking disgusting. I've tried Hypnotic by itself and I was like, this is fucking disgusting. Yeah, all those, all those liqueurs, because the problem is they're slightly flavored. So you mm. you taste the alcohol more than the actual flavor, right? But the alcohol, it's really, it cuts through that light flavoring that they put in there, and yeah. it's just not good. Like I don't, it, yeah, and they end up. I mean, obviously, those liqueurs, like they're meant to be mixed. Yeah. Right. So, unless you're but, real trash. Yeah, <laughs> unless you're trash. So, the, but, easy. <laughs> but they're always like super sweet. So, mm. you know, they that do. with the liquor and then usually some other filler. So the only pre, the only pre-made mixed drink that I actually liked was the uh, the the Blue Beast. That was a gin and juice one. That was it. And I fucking hate gin. Oh, I fucking hate gin. Gin is like one of the most dehydrating liquors you can ever drink. It'll give you a headache like a motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. yeah. It's really dry. Like a lot of people will cook with that shit because it dries out whatever it is the food it, and it's put yeah. into. Yeah. It's fucking Goddamn. gross. You know, I don't miss drinking at all. Like it's not something where I'm just like, yo, I need a fucking drink. Oh man, I need a fucking drink. It's more of like if it's there, cool. If it's not there, even better. Yeah. I some drinks I do enjoy the flavor of. Like uh like a good dark rum. I, I like some Captain rum. Morgan, yeah, or Kraken. Did you Kraken? Kraken. I love Kraken. Kraken, my, Kraken was my thing, dude. I would, I would drink it straight. That yeah. shit was good. Um, never liked, never liked rum. Well, you're missing out, buddy. I mean, I would drink it, but I mean, it just wasn't like my favorite. Yeah, mm. I'm a whiskey guy, so I I preferred <laughs> rum because it just didn't have the bite that whiskey had. You know what I mean? See, that's what I liked about whiskey, though. 
Is that I, bite? Yeah. I, I didn't like the bite. It was just too much. I, I felt like like whiskey, I, you know, do like a whiskey and Coke or whatever. And just be like, oh, it's got, well, well. Right. Well, rum and Coke, I just go, 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 oh, go, go. Yeah, you can just down it. Little, but obviously, you know, whiskey is usually around 40%, you know, 80 proof. And rums are usually about 60 to 65, 70, somewhere right. in there. So obviously, you know, lower alcohol, so it doesn't have as much bite. But I little, still I, I still like the smell of rum. Me little, too. Little, little fun fact for anybody who plans on drinking. If you put too much alcohol in your mixed drink, sorry to tell you that that drink is done for. Adding Coke or whatever mixer, it's not going to save it. That's a little really? fun fact, yeah. Why is that? I learned that from a guy who actually makes whiskey. Hmm. It just doesn't because if you put too much in there, pretty much the the fullness of the whiskey outweighs out, uh, outweighs everything. So even oh. if so, even if you keep putting Coke, more yeah. Coke or Sprite, whatever the fuck, it's never gonna it's, take it's a, still gonna taste that whiskey. Wow! Yeah, because it's already hit your palate. Hmm. So it's there. Interesting. I mean, I the, the sugar will outweigh the whiskey, but whenever it hits your your palate, that's, that's all. Gonna, it's all you're gonna taste. So gotcha. you're better off just either making a new drink or. Man in the fuck up. Yeah, fucking <laughs> finishing it off. Brian. <laughs> and he would. <laughs> he and I. And he used to drink those, whatever the fuck, those sours or whatever the hell they were called. The, uh, oh, yeah. With the Di Sorono, whatever the hell that shit was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For a, a, couple, a few times, you could tell he put a lot of whatever that shit was. And he'd be like, Ugh. well, <laughs> fucked up there. <laughs> Just keep drinking it. <laughs> You know what one drink that I really do enjoy that you brought or you brought was the Don Julio. Oh yeah, the, the yeah. tequila. Yeah. See, that's big boy shit right there. I yeah. like that. That was yeah, really that, good. That's not meant. You're not supposed to get trashed on that. <laughs> but uh, yeah. you know, that, that's more of like a, a quote unquote gentleman's drink. Uh, yeah. Are you supposed okay. to like? Put it's like, a sipping tequila. Yeah, like yeah. a sipping tequila. But y'all, <laughs> y'all were bound to that fucker down. <laughs> Part two this year. What? <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we could find some occasion for it, you know, like yeah, in a Canadian box day or something. <laughs> <laughs> Kwanzaa's coming up. Let's do it. He ain't lying. <laughs> Happy Kwanzaa, guys! It's a shot. Ain't nobody in this whole Jewish. <laughs> is that that's a Jewish thing? No, no. Kwanzaa what the fuck is, that? is. I'm thinking of Hanukkah. Yeah, yeah Hanukkah. Hanukkah's Kwanzaa's over. some type of African. Yeah, it's an African uh, like. Christmas. Ask Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, your wife's African, right? She'll know all about this shit. <laughs> she should know. <laughs> I think. I think they. Uh, I think they might be Catholic or Christian. Yeah. Or yeah. They're. They're Catholic or Christian. Something. I don't yeah. know. I, I just but, know it's from Africa. Yeah. Or Africa based. I, I want to say like Jamaica, maybe. Is possibly one of those areas. Either way, yeah, well, I'm getting y'all trashed on Don Julio for Kwanzaa. <laughs> for no- <laughs> Jesus, hell yeah! No, what's the one uh, where they don't eat or drink while the sun is up? Oh, uh, Ram, Ram- what? Ramadan. 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 Yeah, yeah. fuck yeah. it. Well, instead of not eating or drinking anything, we'll just have you guys drink while the sun's up. Jesus All day. Christ. Or be like homie from uh Are you trying to make us into alcohol? The whitest kids you know. <laughs> Just drink whiskey all day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Fuck. Hey, if he can or do it, R. you R. can. P. If he can do it, you can do it, be easy. I believe in you. You don't need a stomach anyway. Yeah, right. It's overrated. Just just do me a favor and go ahead and call the morgue. Fuck that. We'll save some money, dog. We'll do it for you. <laughs> Just toss my ass into the lake. I mean, we'll, Jesus Christ. Well the, well, the way we'll actually get rid of you is we'll just have you drink a shit ton of uh, embalming fluid. Oh, okay. Get the job started early. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Big facts. <laughs> is it is it African thing? It's a, actually, it's a, an American, uh, African-American descendants uh, kind of thing. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mm. Little mm. history lesson. I had no idea. Yeah, it's it's a it's a couple of things what it could be. But I I want to get it from like the source. Right. <laughs> so you want me to ask there? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll get her on the horn. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo, what do you know about Kwanzaa? <laughs> I don't think she knows shit about it, if I'm being honest. 
But I'll ask her. Well, at first it says something about harvest, like some harvesting they used to do in Africa, but they brought it over here in the United States, and that's why they celebrate it. But there's other parts to it. So I, I don't know what the real reason they celebrate Kwanzaa. I just text her. I said, what do you know about Kwanzaa? <laughs> You celebrate? We celebrating or what? Because I need to know. I need to know what you know. The way I can get a bottle of Don Julio. <laughs> <laughs> like, celebrate it, fuck. <laughs> if not, it's all right. We can do it on Juneteenth. Well, well, fuck. It. Even if we even if we don't know anything about Kwanzaa, happy Kwanzaa. <laughs> <laughs> just get everybody trashed. How fucked up would that be? Just go up to black people and I'm a shot of tequila. Happy Kwanzaa. Hey, Kwanzaa. The fuck, <laughs> <laughs> bitch. I'm Christian. <laughs> And that, I'm the Latter Day Saints. and that kids is how you get canceled. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Happy Kwanzaa! <laughs> You're African. <laughs> you know all about this shit, right? <laughs> is that what he texted her? Yeah, <laughs> you fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> you said to ask. <laughs> Facts. He's pulling Facts. through, guys. <laughs> I'm just I'm I do as I'm told, dog. <laughs> when you give Zeke assignments. He will probably most likely do it. Yes. Big facts. I like to follow through. Yeah. This one's kind of weird. <laughs> Florida man allegedly threatened family with cold play lyrics <laughs> in standoff after SWAT promises what? him pizza. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What the <laughs> fuck? Like, how do you fucking like threaten people with cold play? I guess do they don't really fucking hate it. Jesus I, Christ. That, that was probably, probably the case. Yeah. It, <laughs> that would probably work on me. Yeah, then, I don't care for cold I like play. how I like how it ends in standoff after SWAT promises him pizza. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? That is. Hey, there's a lot going on for right getting there. some free pizza, dog. They they got to be some bomb ass fucking pizza. Nobody though. was hurt, so yeah. I mean, yeah. I'd be like, all right, I'll stop if you give me some pizza. Wait, hold on, what? Imagine. <laughs> I, I just want to know how this started, like, and fully ended. Florida man who allegedly threatened family with Coldplay lyrics in standoff after swap promises and pizza. Imagine like being the newscaster having to report that shit. Right. He's like, this is what I went to fucking school for. No, no, no. no. Imagine being like the family member and being like, fuck. It's one of ours. Again? <laughs> God damn it, Jethro. Why are you always doing this bullshit? Nobody likes Coldplay. We're in Florida. Everyone loves fucking, uh, what's that one rapper guy name from Miami? Rick Ross? No, no, no. The other one. T-Pain. No, no, no. The the Mexican one. Pitbull? Pitbull. There you go. There you go. Pitbull or Insane Clown Posse? They're from Florida? No, it's okay. I don't I don't know if they're from Florida, they're but from Michigan. It, it sounds like something Florida people be into. Just all painted up and shit. Makes sense. There's a... I did not realize that there's a lot of fucking uh, Insane Clown Posse fans in College Station. I can see oh, it. Oh, yeah, I can see Going it. Going to yeah. a lot of these houses and like with the younger kids and shit, like, yeah. you know, like young adults, whatever. And you see all like their, the the hatchet man whatever posters yeah. all over the yeah. wall. I'm like, oh god! I remember like almost all the like out outcasted kids or the misfit kids always had the insane clown posse like stuff and everything. And I'm just like, who the fuck are they? I mean, I get it. It's a it's just a, a team to be a part of. You know? Yeah, it, it's a counter culture kind right. of. Yeah, it's yeah. like uh, when you. You know, they're just they're just fitting in with who they you know, get in where you fit in basically. Oh yeah. yeah. It's their, you know their but, little circle that they, you know, fit in. Yeah, 'cause uh so some of my friends in high school were into it. So but you know, they were into pretty much all that kind of stuff, you know, that anything that wasn't the norm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, pretty much whatever they didn't play on the radio. Anything that wasn't mainstream. They yeah. were like the gothic hipsters. Gothic hipsters. <laughs> yeah. Because they're always wearing that. black. Yeah. When they wore the, the insane clown posse clothes, yeah. it was always black. And then black, you see the, the red. The Jinko emblem. jeans. Yeah. Yeah. Did y'all ever wear those Jinko jeans? I always no. wanted to. I, I didn't have money for it. Yeah, yeah. those are fucking, that's a lot Spencer, of denim yeah. right there, bro. Yeah, Jinkos first. and like the Paco jeans, whatever. Them, that was a lot of denim. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you, get, you, would get, you just get baggy fucking jeans. <clears throat> there's Bags. a there's a there's a chick at work. She's like smaller than me, and she wears those. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if they're like Paco or Jinko exactly, but they're like super. You like, know, like the, yeah. the ones you get from Hot Topic, the fucking yeah. like yeah. almost uh, elevator, not elevator. Uh, what are they called? Parachute, parachute, parachute. parachute, parachute yeah, yeah. 
Elevator? Where the fuck that going? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's basically what they they look like. And I was like, that was. What's, what's worse, the parachute jeans or the uh, uh, bell bottoms? They're both equally bad, but bell bottoms look good on some women. Yeah, that's the only. I, I say s- some people could pull off bell bottoms because bell yeah. bell bottoms are figure flattering. Yes, as the wear uh, those those fucking parachute pants, they just look ridiculous on anyone. Yeah. Fine. Even like, like, like even MC Hammer knew he looked like a like a dipshit in those things. Like, <laughs> those things are just not cool. Whatever happened to that guy? I don't know. I know he got bankrupt, but other than oh that, yeah, that's the last I heard. Yeah, but I think I think he may may have figured it out. But hopefully, who knows? I haven't heard about that guy in since, years since the last time Jay Z took a shot at him, and then he came back. Jay Z yeah. took a shot at him. Yeah, for what he said. Uh. Damn, I can't remember what the fuck. But basically saying like going bankrupt like Hammer or something like that. And MC Hammer got pretty mad. Oh. I was like, what the fuck? But he did. I mean, he went bankrupt. It's not like he yeah. was lying. <laughs> yeah, he's was, spitting there was facts. No, there was no slander there. Yeah. Bitch, you, you fucked up. <laughs> I think he was saying like he was buying like, he was like, if I got a gold chain, then all my friends got gold chains. If I got a new car, all my friends got new cars. So that's where his fucking money went. Jesus. Mm. Who was that one chick, uh, the song they were singing in uh, Harold and Kumar. So hold on, we're almost there. That one, you know what I'm talking about? The whenever the, uh, in Harold and Kumar, whenever he puts that mixtape in, and it was like extreme mixtape. Whenever they steal that dude's car, the guy who kept saying extreme. No, I can't remember. Well, uh, the, I know that part, but I can't remember yeah, the songs. But well, that that chick, one of the singers from there, she she was doing the same thing. She was like, whenever I got a house. All my friends got houses. Like, bitch, that's crazy. God yeah. damn. Gold chains and cars is, is is already bad enough, but houses. Houses? She was like, like there wasn't a meal that went by for like a decade I didn't pay for in my family. Damn. And it was like, you know, her whole family. So like fucking like homeboy who almost got to pay that thirty one hundred bucks, she was legit paying the thirty one hundred bucks Holy like shit. almost every night. God damn. Yeah. Fuck. I mean, I I, I I don't mind doing something like that once. Once. Once in a yeah. blue moon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But but I mean like every fucking, oh, hell no. Because I think she went on the, this is back when I was like 12, 13, whenever the, what was that, uh, Celebrity Weight Loss Show, whatever. whatever oh, yeah. I know Fit, what you're talking fit about. Camp or whatever the fuck. She went on there because she was like, the only reason I'm here is because obviously I need to lose weight and I'm broke and they were going to give me X amount of dollars to, to compete in this show. Damn. So yeah, I was like, damn. Was she with uh, Ralphie May? Because I know Ralphie May did something like that. Mm. I can't remember. This was so long ago. R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. But yeah, I, I don't remember. But yeah, she she lost a lot of weight after the show. She got kicked off, or she lost, and then she lost a bunch of weight. But yeah, and then she ended up getting some money back. But yeah, those celebrities, man, they be dropping some money on some stupid shit. Elon. Yeah. Mike Tyson. Facts. But hey, he he pulled through. Oh yeah, yeah. He pulled through. <laughs> Success story right there, but yeah, but yeah, he was horrible with money, really bad. Yeah, the first thing that I would probably do if I had like a lot, a lot of money is get like an accountant, make sure like I'll be honest as for like two years, be like, yo, man, I need to know what's going on, you know. And then no. after that, I'd be like, all right, <clears throat> no, my no, on my ass, I probably still wouldn't look at my my. <laughs> I would <laughs> open my app <laughs> to see how much money I had. How much money I got? Ah, fuck it. I'll see you tomorrow. Open that hole up. Seven dollars. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Negative three billion dollars. God damn. <laughs> Did y'all hear that story about that lady who opened her account and there was a? <clears throat> so there's two stories. Okay. The, fir- the first one was a guy open uh, or a woman opened up her account to see three billion dollars. And uh, I think I may have told this before. Oh, no, it was a guy. I'm sorry. He uh he was like spending like you know gas, groceries, whatever. But he never opened his. Is that because yeah, yeah. he was like, you know, I'm fucking I think he was like an electrician or something. So he knew we had the money, but he was he wasn't making any like egregious purchases or anything like that. So the, you know, Uncle Sam hit him up and they were like, yo, you know, you're with you're withholding a federal some type of lump sum thing, whatever it was. Yeah. He was like, what the fuck? He opened his account and saw all those zeros and all those numbers, whatever. He was like, oh, shit. And he went to his bank and like tried to work it out. And at that point, it was too late. They were They were trying to send him to jail. What the fuck? Yeah, because he was a single guy. Yeah. No kids. He was only like 30 years old, 31. And uh, yeah, 
he almost he almost did time because somebody at the bank made a mistake oh, and deposited shit. three billion or almost three billion dollars in his account. Oh hell no! Yeah. So wait, what in it? What what he, ended up? They, he ended up getting it taken care of, but yeah, but like for like a while, like they were, he was going to like federal trials and shit, which he ended up having to pay for out of pocket. Oh hell yeah. no! I would have been like, the bank should be paying this. That's Y'all what I should be paying me. But but what was crazy is because he held it for so long. I think he had it for like three months. Mm. So they, oh. uh, yeah. And but see, he was still depositing, you know, making regular deposits. But was but isn't like if if you withdraw over six figures, isn't that supposed to be like suspicious activity? Yeah. And they're supposed to be like, hey, authorities need to be involved for, you know, for whatever reason. If you see. Almost three billion dollars going to someone's account. That that type of activity should have been reported right away. Yeah, it should have been whoever Cause runs it, their account. Yeah, uh, it should get reported to the IRS. Yeah, I mean, you would think. And then the other story was a lady who woke up with like negative three hundred thousand dollars in her account, but she was a lawyer, and she actually had like you know ninety grand in her account, but she woke up to negative three hundred thousand. And here's what's fucked up. This was a shitty story. The bank, be, it was their mistake. They made her pay the money back. They said that she was negative 300 in debt with interest. Oh, hell. Yeah. Uh, I would have sued. I don't know the percentage of the interest, but yeah, they were like, well, you should have noticed it sooner. Your fault. What the fuck? Yeah. I, yep. No, I would have sued hard. And here's what's crazy is how the other dude held the money for like three months. She noticed it like three days, three or four days after you know the incident occurred because she went to go get like starbucks or something and her car yeah. got declined so she went she was like what the what the fuck and then she went to the bank and they're like oh sorry you had, you had 72 hours or something like that to get this figured out and they were like yeah you owe us three you know 300 grand plus interest oh hell yeah. no that would fucking piss me off oh yeah dude i would be like no nah, no way man i ought to fought somebody that day i I remember. I don't remember the whole. This was this was also years ago. This was like 2015. Whenever I read this, 2016. She she had a shit ton in her savings account, and she had to pull from that, or if not all of it, to pay the bank back. I was like, wow, damn. I wouldn't even have done that. I would have been like, yo, y'all. I, I think y'all it's, fucked it's, up. it's the type of bank that she has because if you have more than like, I don't know. I think it's like five hundred thousand in certain states. Yeah, you you can't just use something like a Citibank or a Wells Fargo. It's almost like a, uh, what is it? A uh, like a national, not a national. Yeah, I think a national Swiss account, almost something like that. Mm. Like, and so, like if it, like if it have if you have that much money and you're in New York, uh, they don't really want you using Wells Fargo's and shit like that. Right. It's like a certain type of bank you have to have that type of money in. So, and I'm pretty sure they have strict rules. Mm-hmm. We're like, hey, if something like this happens, you have 72 hours to report it. Right. So I, I, I'm assuming that's where it happened, or that's what was the case. I don't know. Hmm. But yeah, she ended up having to pay all that back with interest. Fuck no. And I don't know what the interest would be on that. For real. I think it'd pretty much just be whatever the interest rates for that bank are. Because they'll usually have like, you know, like a like a range that they usually go by. Yeah. And then, you know, adjusted by your credit score. So, but I would assume it maybe at the high end, maybe like eight percent. That's still a lot on three hundred grand, yeah. son. Yeah. Nah, I would probably say like either two or one. So yeah, depending on what type of credit she has with the bank, you never know. Well, you said she was a lawyer. Yeah. So she probably had pretty good fucking credit. Yeah. yeah. So it was probably maybe about. Three or four percent, or or she was just a degenerate gambler, and got yeah. blacked out drunk and withdrew three hundred k. She didn't <laughs> yeah. recognize it, but how it was the f- how the fuck do they let you overdraft by three hundred thousand, son? If I get close to five dollars, my bank account closes. <laughs> They're like, you ain't spending shit. <laughs> yeah, your broke ass need to go get a better job. Goddamn. Yeah, fuck that three negative three hundred k, son. Imagine I, like your your bank telling you, "Hey, yo, man, hey, my man, hey, yo, my man, <laughs> <laughs> you weren't gonna make any purchases, were you?" <laughs> no, why? All right, because you negative three grand, three hundred thousand in the hole. <laughs> Shit, that would piss me off so fucking bad, dude. Negative three hundred grand. 
Hell no. Uh, have y'all ever over overdrafted before? Yes. Yeah. Bruh, that shit sucks so bad. Yeah. Especially if like you you were like I could have especially like if they take it out so late. Yeah. Like a certain per- purchase. Oh my god, I fucking Apple is the worst with that shit, dude. Yeah. Oh my god. I remember I, no joke, I remember one time I didn't have a job for a while just after I left the uh, the warehouse job. Yeah. Had like 300 to my name, 300 bucks, not 300 grand, <laughs> 300, 300 bucks. And uh I see I check my bank statement negative $76 from Apple. They waited like five months to make, uh, or no longer than that to make a, to, to withdraw all the purchases I've made, like basically throughout most of the year. Damn. Yeah. Uh, Instead oh, of, you know, cause they're, no. they're, they're pretty slow, but this was fucking super slow. Right. It was like, yeah. a, it was like an eight month gap where they didn't take anything out. Oh, hell no, yeah. dude. Is this, that shit like pisses me off. Yes. You know, I'm just like, dude, I need you to take it out like two or a day or two. Yeah. Minimum two. That's why I'd usually like uh, going like getting shit with my debit card because it's instant. Because like I know if you go with credit, like you just never know when they're going to take it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You'll check your statement and it'll be like, oh, Oh, negative 30 bucks. You're like, what the fuck? And like, this is from September. Like when you got gas at some fucking store and it's now, you know, December. You're like, what the hell? Hell no. I wish they would just stop that shit. For real. Because, I mean, it's, it's, I think it's ridiculous. Granted, overdraft stopper exists, but still. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just, I just don't want my money disappearing randomly at random times. Facts. I mean, take your shit out whenever I buy it, motherfucker. No, I hate it when you're like below like $2 and you're like, oh shit, I need to go like, you know, pay for it or whatever. And, but then they hit you like an overdraft fee, like oh nope, boom forty nine something dollars. You're like god damn. Yeah, they they be hitting it was you only too. Two dollars. Yeah, god if you damn. go over two bucks, basically you owe them fifty plus yeah. bucks, whatever. You're like you gotta be shitting me. I was like bro, like chill out. It's only two bucks. You, you're making it sound like you're I worth, owe you like you're more. worth billions of dollars. Yeah, you get money every day. Hold Lit- on, literally every day, every, every day. like minute of the day, you're getting money. Yeah, you pieces of shit. Fuck it, let's go rob a bank. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, allegedly. Alleg- yeah, allegedly. Yeah. Brian, don't say that shit. <laughs> Come on, Brian. What the fuck's wrong with you? Yeah, get your, sh- get your shit together, dog. First you say you're German, now you want to rob a bank? Goddamn. Man, well, that's like actually kind of a way to get back at the Jews. They yeah. own, they run the banks. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hit them where it hurts. With that money. Facts. With that smoke. <laughs> Bro, what are, some, what are some idiot moments that y'all have had where like, you you could you could make your life so much simpler by doing something very small. Like for instance, I've been doing this for years. Uh, I had just told Navar about this. He's like, man, because uh, I was texting him, and he, he we you know we were in the middle of a conversation. And he just stopped texting me, and he says because his phone died. And I was like, why don't you put it on the charger? He goes, oh, well, Crystal's using the only charger in the house. I'm like, well, why don't you just buy more chargers? He's like, oh, I never thought about that. I was like, bro, we have a charger in every fucking room of the house over here. Why don't you just get a charger? He's like, or get more chargers. Go on Amazon. They're like, the shitty ones are like 20 bucks for like yeah. five of them. He's like, really? I was like, yeah. yeah. I was like, put one by the couch in the kitchen in your room and all the other rooms. I was like, well, you don't have to do this shit. And he's like, oh, you know what? That makes fucking total sense. I never thought about that. I was like, you are Navarre. <laughs> have you ever had one of those moments? I know I definitely have. Oh, yeah. I definitely have, but I can't remember anything that on the top of my head. Yeah. Uh, let me see. I I know I've definitely had some. Though I'm like, oh shit, that makes that makes oh, way more fucking it? sense. Yeah. yeah, it's hard to think off top, but I just know yeah. like when it happens, I feel like a dumb shit. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like it happens way too often. Oh yeah. I mean, if you got nothing, you ain't worry. You ain't got to worry about. It. Oh. I was just curious. I already, it was kind of like a rhetorical question. I was just seeing if y'all did have anything. I know I have. I know I have for sure. I just can't think of it. I, I'm pretty sure it's like either zip ties or something like that. <laughs> it's something really small. Yeah. You're like, God damn, that makes total sense. Like, right. It's like, fuck, why, why didn't I think of this before? Fuck me. I've had one of those moments and and I thought I, like whenever I thought of it, or at least I quote unquote thought of it, yeah. I thought it was like some groundbreaking shit. And then I tell my dad, I'm like, yeah, he goes, well, well yeah. Why wouldn't you be doing that? I've been doing that for years. I'm like. Man, fuck you, all right? <laughs> I just figured it out. I just right, figured man. it out. Let me feel special for Let a moment. Let me fly, fly out of the nest for a minute. For real. Goddamn. 
Asshole. We're just shitting on your dad. He can't even hear it. <laughs> For real. Shit, if he was here, I don't think we, we would have a podcast episode. He ain't lying. I, was ever, I think they just moved recently. I want to go I want to go check out their house. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where'd they move to? On 3rd Street or 4th Street, something like that. They Is got, it a house? I don't know. I got to go check it out. I, want, I was supposed to roll by there today, but hmm. I got in town and went to go eat at B-Easy's house. Aw. What'd you make? No, I, I got I brought Sonic over. <laughs> what happened to my uh the 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 uh, oh, fuck. Popeyes? Well you're off tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's go we can go to Popeyes. Hell yeah, let's I go. I got it. you, son. I've been actually, I've been getting tips at work, so got a little Ooh. got a little cash on me. Hey. Yeah, I mean, son. You can bring Brian with us. Yeah. As long as you pick him up, I ain't coming to town. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, just start walking after we leave, you'll be there by tomorrow. <laughs> right. Wait, are you staying in town? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I don't have to drive an hour after we do this. That's right. why I was like, I'm not tripping. <laughs> Whatever time we start, I don't have a fucking journey, you know, to go on now. Is Sarah with you? Uh, okay with you being over here? Yeah, because on the weekends I'm going because I'm off uh, Sundays and Mondays. So after I get off on Saturdays, I just go over there. Oh, okay. Kick it with them Saturday and then pretty much all day Sunday and then and I get off so early. So whenever if you're off, just hit me up. Okay, cool. I mean, I'll be in town. Hell yeah. So whatever you want to do, be easy. I thought you had just been commuting. Oh, hell no. That would be crazy. <laughs> Driving from Houston to Cosmo. Fuck right. that. No, you know how much gas? I, I would, it, it would be a lot. Yes. Like at least 70 bucks a day. Yeesh. Yeah. Please don't tell me you, that. You'd, you'd be making no money. Literally oh, yeah. no, no money. All your money would be going into gas. I'd be yeah. working to work. Like, <laughs> yeah. <it> basically. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus yeah, that's dumb. And if it was like fifty bucks an hour, okay, it would have been worth it. Yeah, I mean, it'd still be wasting a lot of money, but I mean, you're it's it's so minute, you know. Well, if you're working like decent hours, right? You know, what I mean, if I'm only working like four hours a day, no, oh no, that's definitely not worth it. Oh, but speaking of a uh, speaking of uh, of the new Jizzop, uh, we we went to do this one lady's uh TV mounting, and she was one of those. As soon as we walk, you because know, for work, we're supposed to wear the mask and, like, shoe covers, like, little booties over your, yeah. your shoes. That way you don't tear up their shit. The shoe covers are, like, if whatever. Like, if they want you to wear them, cool. If they don't, whatever. The mask, we have, have to wear. To, yeah. Like, it's part of company policy. So we walk in, and the lady's like, are y'all wearing, are y'all wearing those for me? Because if you are, you can take them off. I'm really conservative. She, she says this, like, 60 times. We're hanging up the, we, we do the stud finder, put some tape on the wall to mark the studs, pull the uh, the the mount out, and she goes, oh, wait a minute, before you even uh, put that up, was that made in China? I'm like, hell uh, yeah, baby. I, I'm wearing a mask, so I'm like, what the fuck? And my boy Andrew's like, oh, I don't know, you know what, let me find out for you, because he's like super professional. Yeah. He checks the box, and I, like right away, as soon as he flips it over, it says in big letters, made, made in, in China. China. And I was like, I think it's made in China. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, let me go check the other one, because the one made in China is like 50 bucks. Yeah. The one we have in the in the vans are like 180. But they, they, they're they full motion. You can like basically do them 360s with them shits. Yeah. And uh, so it's engineered in America and made in China. And the lady hears that and she goes, you know what? Just give me the one made in China. She says this as she's typing on a fucking Samsung phone while she's holding her Apple TV product. And uh, she has a, a, a Samsung refrigerator. I was like, bitch. Real conservative, huh? <laughs> For real. So yeah. so we're setting up the TV and blah, blah, blah. She goes, you know, what? I don't even really care if uh, about the dish or the satellite, whatever, you know, like the dish TV, whatever. Yeah. She's like, as long as I can get Hallmark and Fox News, I'm really conservative. If you can't tell, she goes, "Will you will you boys be voting for Trump in 2024?" I was like, "Ah, I don't know." I was like, "I, I want to check out everyone's policy." You know, I'm just trying to be professional. Whatever. I would have been like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> I was, I almost, I almost red, white, and blue. That's baby. funny. Like I held it back, but I looked up. My eyes started going. I was about to say, "Red, white, and blue, baby." <laughs> oh, the dad her up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, "What the fuck?" That that chick was. She was wild. Hilarious. He's like, I'm really concerned. I was like, I don't mean, let's go to a Trump rally right now. Let's get bag. some flags. <laughs> grab, let's grab them hoods, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I need yeah. a new fuck Biden. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> I love how every store in College Station, at least that I go to to get gas, they all have those Biden stickers that says, I did this <laughs> or I did that or whatever. 
And the yeah. gas is like, the gas is really expensive in call station. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Like, th- I think there was it's one store. Like $3, dude. No, dude, there's one store that was 301. Ooh, don't even and tell that, me that. Oh, here's what, no, the, the store, it was 301 with cash. It was Jesus like 309. Christ. Yeah, 309 uh, with card. Mm, I was like, fuck God, this. Damn. Before I left, I stopped at one of the stores in Houston, but the gas was like 270. I was like, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and fill up while I'm here, even though I'll be on half a tank by the time I get Goddamn, over yeah. here. Uh-uh. Yep. Yeah, that lady was wild. But the new Jizzob's tight, though. That's good. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Red, white, and blue, baby. Bro, let's get them. Let, bro, I'm down to get it tatted if y'all are. That's all I'm saying. If we all four do it, I'll do it. Bro, I'll pay for it. You can't you can't turn that down, bees. <laughs> it's free. Just red, white, and blue, yeah. baby. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously like it's a, we it, would know, and obviously this, the audience would know. It's an inside joke, so you yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. And then if if someone reads it, they'd be like, "Oh, okay, they're French." <laughs> but do we have to get the the surrendering hands? <laughs> right. Is there salute whatever? <laughs> or they can be like, "Oh yeah, it's for Texas, red, white, and blue." Yeah, yeah. red, white, and blue, baby. Yeah. They don't really need to know the real reason. <laughs> but where are we getting this? Tuck, man, obviously. Oh, Position where? wise. Oh. I'm trying to think. I want to. It's somewhere that's covered up, obviously. Oh, you can go. I mean, I've already got. Yeah. You, right. Visible you're, you're tattoos. Hosed. Yeah. But, you know, the rest of us aren't. Yeah. I don't want you to get something where your job's going to be like, you, you need to get out of here. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. Fuck it. I'm getting it on my neck. <laughs> right over the Adam's apple. <laughs> Red, white, and blue, baby. Hell yeah. I'm like, oh, you thought you had a job. <laughs> <laughs> now you definitely hate no. You're homeless as fuck, dog. No. Goddamn. <laughs> I don't know. I'll think about either like my calf or my thigh. Or let's, maybe like. Let's see what's fun. What's, for me, I always go overboard. So I like, I don't want it just small. Like I'd get something like big on the back of my calf. Basically like, uh, like a flag. Like the American flag, <laughs> just says red, white, and blue, baby. No, I want to get like a Captain America shield and then like oh, have it around yeah. saying red, white, and blue, baby. Just all around the shield and right. shit, yeah. People are going to think, oh, man, that's fucking Cap. That's it, dope. Yeah, the, there you go. Du- little, little double entendre yeah. yeah. You're just like, yeah, it's Cap. <laughs> I'm down. Look, I'm going to think of what I want to get for it. So it kind of, you know, it's a two for one. Right. I'm definitely getting that. I'm definitely getting that. <laughs> And STS 420. Yeah, I definitely want it just because I know seeing it, I'll be like, hell yeah, baby. Red, white, and blue, baby. <laughs> Imagine going to your doctor and you got to wear the little gown. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Come on, man. Trump 2024. <laughs> you got to dab me up, brother. Oh, I know what we should do. What's up? Let's uh, let's get uh, four of those, those packy one chip challenges. The ones that's like ghost pepper and like oh, those, that crazy shit I was talking about. Yeah. And the one person who doesn't do it has to get Trump 2024. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit>. On their <laughs> ass. <laughs> or is the trans No, 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 no. Like, like in a rainbow, like over their, over their beanbag, over their dick. Oh, shit. Yeah. So whenever you're giving someone the business, they know what it is. <laughs> you know what time it is, baby. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> Trump 2024. Is that where you're going to put it? Might as well. <laughs> Every time you do it with Sarah, imagine what does that say? imagine like them prepping you and they, they have to shave you because you know right yeah if you do it wrong it's 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 on them but if they even if they do it wrong they want to you know they're still liable for it so hmm. they have to shave you somebody going down there shaving your pubes are like this is the worst job I've ever had <laughs> <laughs> what if like your job title is just to shave pubes well this well what's even worse than that is being a fluffer. Keeping dudes hard on set. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. I hear that's actually not a thing. It's not? Yeah. I thought it was on the dudes who would like, you know, the, the actor who, who has to, you know, keep themselves hard. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. They pretty much just have to do it themselves. Yeah. Or maybe a, maybe at one point it was a job. It, and it got might have been, it. but. That does sound like some shit from the 70s. Yeah. Yeah. Like before AIDS, they were just like whatever. Where they get actual like money and they're just like, my man, it's time. That have, dude was have, like, y'all, have y'all ever seen that movie called Boogie Nights? No. Sounds familiar. It's got Mark Wahlberg in it. 
Y'all should definitely check. That, that's basically, it's about a, it's a fake story about a porn star who like basically jumps into the industry at like 16, 17 years old. Yeah. And then he, he turns into a massive star. But then, you know, obviously there's a downfall. <clears throat> but this is like the downfall of all downfalls. Oh, shit. It's a, it's a dope movie. It's a really good movie. That's whenever I was like, oh, that motherfucker can act. It's also got John C. Riley in it too. Hmm. When did it come out? Oh, dude. 90. Was, this, yeah, it was back in the gap. 95, 94, something like that. Damn, it's about as old as me. When when did that shit come out? Boogie Nights. That's actually like one of my favorite. 97. That's actually one of my favorite movies. I love that movie. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Is it's it really, funny? Yeah. It's 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 like a comedy drama-ish. Hmm. It starts off funny and then obviously with a downfall. Right. It kind of Shit gets down. dark, but yeah. yeah. Does he get AIDS? No. Hmm. But there's a, there is a part in there where this dude, he... Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen it, fuck off. <laughs> it's fucking old. <laughs> but uh uh there's a there's a guy, he's a porn star, and there's like a guy porn star and a and a female porn star. They're not like big characters in the movie at all. Yeah. But they're like they go into a room and do blow and uh he runs out of the room holding her. She's like bleeding out of her nose, and he's like, Oh fuck, fuck. He's like, She's ODing. This is the fifth chick this week. He's like don't you think you gotta find a new fucking dealer? <laughs> like God she's damn. all like lying limp, yeah. you know, like what the fuck? And that's just the way it was back in the gap. Jesus, he would, he was like, like I guess like her pimp or whatever it was. He was like, throw her in the fucking car. They just throw her in the car. He's like, take her to the nearest hospital, and then he goes right back to the party. I was Jeez. like, holy shit, fucking a man. Yeah, seventies are wild. Yeah, say before before the AIDS, you know, AIDS happened and shit. Life was wild. Yeah, life was wild. I feel like we're pretty tamed. Yeah. Compared to like how, what, the 80s and 70s. Bro. I feel like that era was fucking wild. No fucking joke. I saw that AIDS is back on the rise again. What the fuck? Yeah. Word? Yeah. AIDS and HIV. Well, yeah, everybody's raw dogging it. Gotta strap up, kids. Yep. Apparently nobody wants to. You know how many people I've heard on podcasts that are like, nah, man, raw dog it. Well, yeah, it's the best, but I mean, still, <laughs> don't yeah. just fucking raw dog anything that moves. Yeah, Apparently be careful with that. that I, uh, that seems to be the case. Yeah, it was. Don't really give a fuck anymore, man. Well, that's on them. Yep. Here's one of those uh, "Am I the asshole?" things. It's a little long, but uh, obviously, just a p- opinion based. Whether you think this person's the asshole or not. <clears throat> the headline is Am I the asshole for being mad at my girlfriend for not letting me win in Mario Kart? Yes. Okay, well. Yeah. I was, well, no, that's just the headline. Here's the actual thing. Last year, I bought my girlfriend a Switch for her birthday because I love Mario Kart and I want us to play together. She loved playing, but she was really bad, so I would always win. I didn't tell her about drifting, so it was super easy. Uh, I noticed she would get upset after I won uh, a few in a row, so occasionally I would let her win one to make her happy. Mm. I had to tell her I was just letting her win, though, because I don't like lying. We both went back to college this year, and during Thanksgiving break, we got to see each other again. We played Mario Kart last night, and my girlfriend beat me every single game. She was way better than before, and she must have been practicing a ton. We played for hours, and I didn't win a single time. Clearly, I was upset about it. I even told her I didn't want to play anymore, and she still didn't let me win. When I told her that she was being mean about it, she called me a whiny little bitch. Am I the <laughs> asshole here? Yeah, yeah. He he bought how? Why how are you gonna buy somebody a gift that you want? Yeah, right. You you did this to yourself, dude. Yeah. Like, of course she's gonna get better because she's gonna practice. You know, you're like, oh, okay, here you go, you won. All oh. obviously she knows you're fucking giving the win to her. Everybody knows you're giving them the win. You yeah. know. Especially, like, the way that you act. Because there, there's a way that you can be, like, you know, playing normally. And then you have that look when you're, like, serious of, like... There's really no way to, like, let someone win that doesn't look uh, obvious. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can see it in their body language of, like, yeah. oh, okay. Well, oh, not, you won. not even really the body language, but, like, if you're in first place and all of a sudden you just randomly drop down to, like, fourth or fifth. Right. Clearly you're letting them win. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Like he didn't even tell her how to drift or anything like that, so it was super easy. He's a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that guy. It's like since I get, since I'm not, I'm not allowed to comment in that subreddit anymore because I keep calling people trash. <laughs> 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 well, whoever owns or whoever's 
the leader of that subreddit fuck that guy it's crazy the name of the group is am i the asshole but whenever you start shitting on someone they're like oh this sub this uh whatever has been closed for uh hate speech i'm like the fuck man you're taking away all the shit. fun dog i guess you're the asshole yeah they're the asshole yeah. <laughs> dickheads The irony. Exactly. Yeah. They're the assholes. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, dude. What's up? I was, uh, you know, watching, you know, I always watch random documentaries on YouTube and shit. And I watched like a 10 minute one on cockroaches. I did not realize how important they were to the environment. Don't they like clean up a lot of things? Yeah. Yeah. But you know, it's it's you know, like most of the time when people see a cockroach on their house, they assume like, it's because Ugh. they have like a dirty house or something like yeah. that, and that's not the case at all. I mean, don't they're bugs, so they're not clean or anything like that. But like the 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 dude who like studies them, he was like, no, they're actually like one of the smartest insects. Yeah, that roam the roam the earth. He's like, why do you think that they like after a nuke, the only thing that'll be be around are fucking roaches? Right. I was like, huh, I never thought about that. So why why are why are they at home? Oh, just a, a lot of time. It's because uh, they're, they're very uh, climate based. So like, if it's really cold outside, they just want to be warm. So they're kind of just like like mammals. Like mm. whenever it's hot outside, they want to be somewhere where it's cool. Right. So that's why you don't really see them in houses or outdoors. They're kind of like under shit because mm. they they want to be where that 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 fits their body temperature. Right. Yeah, it's weird. Like they showed how they like. They left out a bag of chips, and, like, the roaches cleaned it up, and they fucking ate the bag. Mm -hmm. I was like, God damn. Yeah, they cleaned up a lot of stuff. Yeah. Like, it, it was interesting, because my aunt was telling me about, like, uh, she found out what uh, possums do and all that. And oh, yeah. And I was just like, yeah, they do a lot. Like, if you really look at it, a lot of creatures and animals have a reason for it, for being here, you know? Because of all our fuck-ups, you know, they're kind of there to kind of somewhat fix it, but not... All the way. Here's one thing I learned that was fucking crazy. What's up? Uh, you know, I don't like moths. I've always said that they're just, you, you smash them and they turn to dust. They don't have any organs. They really don't have any organs, but they do. And they eat mold. Really? Mm. Yeah. And it, it and their body is designed to, di to digest it. So, and it turns it into to safe, fuck, I can't remember the word. So whenever you smash them and you see all that dust, that's just old mold old. that they basically cleaned and like filtered out and made it safe. Holy shit! I think I, did not I think know it that. was moss. It was it was a bug that maybe looked like a moth, but it was like definitely moth like. Okay. And I was like, "What in the fuck? That is crazy." That's actually pretty cool. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, okay. and there there is a bug that actually uh, survives off of black mold. Oh shit! Yeah, it's a little fucking. Like it looks almost like a flea, kind of, but yeah. under a microscope anyway. But uh, I don't, I don't know how actually big it is, but like they they move in like armies, and that like they just search out for mold. And like one of the main things that they that makes them grow, that has like quote unquote nutrition for them, yeah. is mold. We don't have them here in the states. It's oh. mostly in like obviously Australia, right? Because where else would it be? But yeah, like they're just that that that's their jobs. Like they want to eat mold. Hmm. What I want to know. Is mosquitoes. That's the only one that I'm just like, what's your purpose? Let's Google it. Like, w w besides like sucking our blood, what's your purpose? I'm Googling it right now. Because that's the one that I'm just like, you know, if they kind of disappeared, would it, would it be that bad? All right, let me read this right here. While they can seem pointless and uh, purely irritating to us humans, mosquitoes do play a substantial role in the ecosystem. Mosquitoes form an important source of biomass in the food chain, serving as food for fish, uh, serving as food for fish as larvae and for birds, bats and frogs as adult flies, and some species are important pollinators. Hmm. Hmm. Fuck. But we do need them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> God like, fuck. The uh, technically, we don't need them. The you know the environment needs I, them. But I do think it's funny how. Uh, like there's a mosquito hawks that take out mosquitoes, but they look just like goddamn mosquitoes, but they're just big as hell. Which one? What spider is it that that's actually really dangerous? Is it the daddy long list, but it just doesn't have a mouth big enough to bite us? Uh, I, I think that's just. The, I think that's a myth. Is it a myth? Yeah. 
Damn, see, I don't want to look that up. Animals are interesting. I really love how they play a role in all of this. And we just kind of like, oh, okay. Yep, it's a myth. Is it a myth? Okay. Yeah. But if we look into it, they actually help out a lot, even without our structures and us trying to, you know, be the number one on top and be like, oh, we can fix it. Well, if we let nat- nature do its course, eventually it'll fix itself. Always has. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why I, I don't like those fucking, those, uh, what are they, those humanitarians or whatever they are. Not, I don't know if that's the word. The, the eco-friendly folks. Not, not, I mean, I get that, you know, trying to save the planet, but when they make a big deal over crazy stuff like that, like, just leave it the fuck alone. Once those people are done doing what they're doing to that section, it'll go right back to normal. Right. Oh, it'll, it'll find a way. Yeah. It, it, it will. It, but it's pretty interesting. Nature is, nature is the best adapter ever. Right. It'll it'll fix itself. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, it's shitty that we try to jack it for all of its resources, but it'll fucking fix itself. Yeah, I mean, son. Yeah. I also found out that demon is now a pronoun, an accepted pronoun. Demon? Oh. Demon. Yeah. I saw this on TikTok, and I was just like, are you fucking serious? Yeah. But I didn't think anything of it until until you said something. So I'm just like, fuck. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, God damn it. Where are we going? Where are we going in this world now? Apparently we're all demons. Apparently. <laughs> I think it's just because people just want to be fucking controversial. At this point, they, it's just uh, different and controversial. Yeah. Like, they want to be unique. Right. And that's the problem is that. Because uh, uh, it's crazy. It's 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 interesting. It's crazy. You, you notice the people who are, who are doing this shit. They're usually under 25. Of course, it, but, and that, uh, but it kind of tells you what our society is in in a sense. Fucked, like no, <laughs> not that, but like majority of people is some way in some way some shape religious, and they want to combat that religious group. It's, I kind of see that because I was I was kind of having some uh like that kind of internal debate uh, a while back, and I was like, honestly, the the. Uh, say what you will religion was pretty much kind of keeping us in check almost yeah. mm-hmm. it, cause it was basically the law before laws yeah right. but the big thing was is that it was it, it was creating community mm-hmm. basically so you'd have your community and yeah, you have your outliers, but for the most part, it seems like it was keeping people sane at least. Yeah. Right. And so I guess when people don't have. When they actually have like freedom of like will or freedom of like, hey, dude. Well, it it's whenever they don't have sense of community, whenever mm-hmm. they don't have a sense of belonging to something yeah a, they start creating yeah things. A community will be formed yeah yeah have you ever seen that or heard about that uh that uh like social experiment that they did where they they put the uh none of these none of these kids were uh inmates or prisoners and none of these kids were like uh, security guards or cops but they made half of them cops and half of them inmates <clears throat> and uh eventually what happened was is the inmates the quote-unquote inmates started acting like inmates Okay. And then the 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 security guards and the cops started acting like cops and uh you know shit like that. And they were like, "See, this is exactly what would happen in a world with no laws: is that you would have the people who would be the you know like the outliers, and then the people who would want to enforce some type of like government well, yeah. laws or something to keep things civil. And like that's just like th- there's no laws here, but somehow this is what was formed. Mm. You know, and it's, it's just weird how how quickly people took those roles." Right. I was like, that's fucking weird. Hmm. And then whenever they swapped the roles, the the cops and shit like that still acted like inmates. So they're like, oh, so titles don't really mean anything. It's just... It's all about the quote-unquote community, yeah. It really is, because, I mean, we we are community-based people, you know? That's how we're kind of 
engineered in a sense. You know, we 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 always be attracted to certain communities. Once we find a community, we try to you know stay and maintain inside that community unless we're one of those weird different ones where we're just kind of like a lone wolf in a sense and like okay i can make my own we're like a weird like shepherd in a sense we can make our own community it's like oh okay i'll drop one here make another one over here i'll drop one there i'll make another one over there wherever i go you get what i'm saying yeah and then eventually y'all meet once a year and just yeah people are weird we crave drama and love teams Mm-hmm. Yep. Sucks, but that's life. I mean, you, you you know, we see it all the time. I mean, that's just. I know for me, like, there's a certain type of person I like hanging out with. Brian. I said I like <laughs> hanging out with. Yeah. <laughs> like hanging out with. Not have to. No, <laughs> <Jesus laughs> <Christ. laughs> just playing, Brian. It's been a couple of years. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's like now. <laughs> Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> One of these days, we'll, we'll get it figured out. Still on the cusp, you know. Yeah. Still have, he still hasn't made his decision yet. Yeah. Jesus. Still evaluating. I only flew to Washington to kick it with him, but yeah, still still evaluating. Still evaluating. It usually takes me about 10 to 20 years to figure it out. The halo was a plus, but. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bro, I just, why... why I saw this video recently. This just happened like last week, or I guess now when they're listening to this a couple weeks ago. Uh, another zoo incident happened where a fucking kid fell in like the chimp cage or something. Yeah. And they put down like three chimps. Why do they always put down the animal? Why can't they just put down why, the kid? Why don't they just trank them or something? I don't know. I guess once they kind of feel the energy of a kid or whatever, they kind of go crazy. I don't know. Uh, My thing is, is... When those chimps get, or any animal gets riled up, that means adrenaline is rushing. So right. you hit them with the trank, and it's gonna it'll act oh, faster. Oh, yeah. It theoretically it should, yeah. Or like not even one, just two, 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 three or four tranks. Put them out for a while. Yeah. Get that fucking kid out of there. But yeah, they need to start dropping them kids. <sighs> See, <he lies. laughs> Who the fuck is letting these kids in, bro? It, you need to start putting up better barriers. That's Higher. true. Higher, and then you know what? If another, how about this? From now on, the rule should be: if a kid falls, the first person to get taken out is the parent. Do <laughs> your right. fucking job, dude. For real, like, what the fuck are you doing? It, uh, unless, yeah. uh, unless, it, unless it's really high, that you know they may have <laughs> yeet. just yeet. <laughs> I don't like this kid. <laughs> but I listen to SDS for twenty. This motherfucker, get rid of the this motherfucker came out refurbished. You gotta <laughs> go, <laughs> right? Yeah, but you notice it's always these open things you know so kids are fucking dumb and they're very curious yeah but mostly they're dumb and so (laughs) the uh, i feel like you could probably solve a lot of these issues and realistically i think we'd be much better off population control um if we just you know put like actual barriers i mean i hate to say it yeah it looks it, it looks like a cage and that's pretty much what zoos are just big fucking cages um but you you gotta stop these people from falling in and shit i think it would just be easier to get rid of zoos yeah i some zoos serve a purpose because some of them actually do well, sanctuaries um, and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, sanctuaries, you know, Those where they different. actually, yeah. like, help with, you know... Um, the animals and all Animals, that. yeah. Because they might help with, uh, you know, endangered species or right. species close to becoming endangered. <laughs> who was helping it? them, you know... Who was it who made that joke about pandas? They're like, man, them pandas ain't trying to fuck. Let them die. <laughs> they, they don't want to be here no more than we do, <laughs> shit. Facts. I think it was that TikTok dude. Uh, maybe. Because he's talking about pandas and he's like, those guys are the fucking idiots of of a bear it's hilarious oh, i've heard you know what's crazy like people actually forget that that is a goddamn bear yeah yeah they're like they're so adorable it's like fam that thing has fangs like, that's a fucking bear that's that a bear they're, yeah they're actually bears yeah they're i mean yeah they're adorable because they're little black and white pants but they're fucking bears yeah, dude they can fuck you up yeah at will yeah they're like oh just give them a piece of bamboo it's like no i know that they're you know uh omnivores I think they're omnivores. Yeah, but they will attack. I think so, 
They will attack. Right. No, not omnivores. What's the one I'm thinking of? Herbivores? Yes. Okay. Herbivores? Yeah. Are they? I thought they were omnivores. No, gri- grizzly. You might be right. I I know for a fact that gri- grizzlies are omnivores. Or black bears are omnivores. Yeah, because they eat ba- berries yeah. and then they eat like if they have to. Like, yeah, yeah. it's their like meat is like their last resort. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck pandas are, but either way, they're still bears. Yeah. Yeah. They don't get as big oh, as a grizzly or like a, a Kodiak or anything like that or a polar bear, but they're still fucking big bears. Yeah. yeah. I think people find them cute. Since that YouTube video of the par- the panda uh, sneezing. Oh, yeah. And also there's that one where the dude's like cleaning out the cage and that, that baby uh, bear, a little cub, just wants that, that uh the whatever, the cleaner's attention. So he keeps wrapping him, wrapping around his leg and like he's like dragging him around. Yeah. And then he would take him off and then put him back on the thing and he would roll over to him like little roly-poly rolls over. Aww. And then ra- see, they're adorable. That's what yeah. I'm saying. But they're still fucking bears. Yeah. <laughs> they're yeah. pretty fucking crazy. I think the only time that I would touch a bear is that if I like train with a Russian and be like, bear, you, you, you come, come bear. I think it's funny. There's that one video where like this, these, this Russian couple, they're sitting out like by like a dumpster or something on like lawn chairs and like bathing suits. And it's like seven degrees out. So they're just sunbathing. Cause you know, why, what else yeah. you do in Russia? And a black bear comes around the dumpster and homie has a bat. He's like, get out of here. And that bear's like, God damn, relax, bro. I'm just, you know, I'm just doing my thing. And he runs up to the bear and like hits it in the rib. Yeah. And the bear kind of like folds up a little bit. I was like, how much power do you have to have to hit a bear in the rib and make him fold the fuck up? Like that's that Russian hatred, dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is what I'm saying. I need to go train in fucking Russia to go fuck up a bear. You know what I'm saying? But apparently, Khabib had to do that. Oh yeah. I was like, God damn. There's it is like there's actual like old old footage from like the fifties and shit, fifties and sixties, where like they used to like box those bears. Yeah. They weren't defanged or declawed or anything. No, they, they were just they fucking boxed just in yeah. Russia. Russians ain't no joke. Elon. Fuck it, let's go to Russia. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. I like my freedom. <laughs> Elon. But I'm pretty sure we might be tough as nails. I don't think I don't think the trade off is worth it. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. We'll be speaking like this. Is that a track suit? Is, is, is that's a requirement when you get there? You have to <laughs> yeah. strong like bull, <laughs> strong like bull, bro, bro, bro. One of the alpha, the, the only outfits you can wear is track suits. Yeah, Adidas track suits <laughs> has to be Adidas. Has to be. Has to be any color, but it has to be Adidas. It's <laughs> fucking trash. <laughs> I hear those are actually really comfortable. They are. They are really comfortable. Okay. I never had them. Well, to, well, to be honest, the only tracksuit I ever really wore was like those shitty starter ones like when I was a kid. The one that shh, shh. Yeah, the, wind, shh, the windbreakers. Yeah, the windbreakers. <laughs> Fucking hate that shit. <laughs> you, ever seen, you ever seen a picture? That it's a whole family and they all wear the, they're all wearing the windbreakers. It's like <laughs> the damn wind never stood a chance. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. I hated those things because like you wear them in school and you're like the loudest kid. Hell like, yeah. <laughs> you, go, you, <laughs> you write shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's all staring at you and you're just like. <laughs> you be looking fly though. <laughs> I didn't feel like it. <laughs> you ain't lying. I'm lying on my ass. <laughs> you look dumb as fuck in them things. You know, those, those 90s colors where it always had like bright, the fucking... jagged lines oh, and yeah. stuff. It was like blue and purple. I always thought it was dumb whenever they would do shit like, like the pants would be blue, but then they would always have that fucking stripe down the side yeah. and it would yeah. be red. You're like, the fuck is or, this? Or the pants would be red and the stripe would be like blue. And you're like, what the hell? Or yellow. Yeah, yellow. The fucking Soviet colors. Like, bro, what the hell? <laughs> you trying to make me stand out in this bitch? What the fuck? <laughs> nah, dude, I, I remember my parents, they got me and my sister uh, Longhorn um, tracksuits once. Oh, it was God. pretty cool, but, you know, shh, 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 shh. And then uh, one of us had an idea to take them to A and M when they did a field trip, like yo, we're doing a field trip to go see the the uh, a field trip. <laughs> I'm called what a Field trip to go see the, like the musical or whatever they do over there. Yeah, and like, dude, them, them dudes were like, yo, man, what what are you wearing? Longhorn, man, take that shit off, man. 
Imagine going to college station and thinking that was a field trip. <laughs> they was running errands with y'all. The teacher had to run some errands while you were on the bus. Facts. <laughs> gotta go pay my gotta go pay my water bill real quick. I gotta gotta pay my student loans real quick. <laughs> Fucking student loans, dog. I heard something that they're uh gonna start lowering all the student loans for like certain uh careers and shit. Yeah. So obviously medical field would be first. And and then there's another one. I think it may have been like agriculture because obviously we need to eat and shit. Yeah. But they're like pe- people who go to those schools. It's, I think it's mainly in like Iowa and Idaho and Kansas. Like all like the farm, the farm states and shit. They're saying they're going to start dropping their uh, tuition, their tuition and stuff like that because it's, it's very know, important. Yeah they're, yeah. they're going there and paying X amount of dollars and they, you know, anything that they make. They can't even really live off that, of it, yeah, because yeah. they're having to pay fucking I don't know, two three grand a month in student loans and maybe less, maybe more. I don't know. Right. I I follow this one dude. He's a, a like environmental sci- scientist, but like a farmer ish. It's really cool what he does, and he lives in Florida, and he calls he calls himself the Captain Planet. Hmm. And so what he what he does is one he teaches kids about like you know the environment and everything two is that he's like one of these like farmers who finds alternative ways to either produce to keep the environment going or like other ways to build certain things without like harming the environment it's pretty cool hmm. it's like man this is this is interesting or like i think there's one certain thing that causes plants to give power in a sense and it it was pretty interesting, like the way they it explains it's cool, but at the time i don't I don't have the brain to kind of think of it <laughs> or mm. remember it. A lot of that shit is it'll send you into sensory overload, yeah, I love learning about that stuff, but I can only take some of it in small bursts like if, when it comes to animals, I'm all ears right i'm all I'm all open to learn about that kind of shit. The animals are interesting, but when it comes to like environment stuff like that, yeah. Takes a lot for me to. I, I like learning about environmental farming because it gives you an idea of like how you can do things right. If you could have a farm, would you like ranch or something like that? I think I I would like to. Same. Have a couple cows, some chickens. A lot of work though. Yeah, I know. It's the only bad thing. If it was like if it was paid for, I I, I would probably do it. If I can make yeah, if I can make some money off of it, yeah. Well, you obviously want to, but. I don't know. Is is what what is the best well I guess what was is the most lucrative form of farming? Would it be in agriculture? Like I think it, it, it kind of like mean? like you know uh, crop farming and stuff like that or maybe or animals. Probably both, huh? Yeah, it ca- depends on what type of land you have. Yeah, and the acres. But, yeah, and how much land you have. I mean, ideally, you know, you I guess it depend on the, your area, because basically how much competition you have, yeah. right. realistically. But uh, I guess you know whatever's harder to import. You know what I mean? Right. So I guess it all depends. But I say realistically, yeah, I have no idea. Hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, that- I guess, I guess. Profit wise, maybe farming. It depends if you have a good season, though. Yeah, because uh, I feel like with animals, it's a little bit more consistent because animals don't die too often. Right. The, the the thing with with ranching is that you know yeah yeah you get your animal products, but there's also a lot of stuff to go to maintain the animal yeah you, know, you need food and water place for them to stay yeah and then you know if you got cows you need milk and machines right um and then obviously you, the the the, the ma- maintaining the animals is mm-hmm. like yeah keeping them healthy and shit like that yeah if yeah. you're if you're a good rancher like if you're yeah. i mean not one of those fucking pumping out shit every yeah. day but like if you're like a legit rancher that's where it gets really expensive. Right. Yeah. Yeah, cuz I remember when we when I was a kid, we used to live like in a cow farm mm-hmm. and my mom and dad would take like these cows and they'll put them like in the machines where they can be milked and all that. Mm-hmm. And then me and my mom, 
and my sister, we would go feed like the baby cows. We would have like these jugs. They were so warm. I just remember them being so warm. And we'd be like, okay, you know, we'd just hold them up. And then the baby cows would come in and start drinking it. And then we'll bring in the hay and all that. It was fun for me. It was cool. I liked yeah. it. A lot of work, though. Yeah. But when you're a kid, you don't really think of it as work. Oh, you're yeah. Just like, oh, yeah. Okay. It's, just, it's just life. It's yeah. just life. If you if you do it enough as a kid, you, you just don't Second think it nature, yeah. work. Yeah, it's just it's just fun. Well, gotta wake up at five in the morning to go yeah. feed the insert animal here, you know, and then and then you get used to like seeing these animals that you start naming them like, oh, that's Bub over there. Oh, that's uh, Porky. Porky, you know. Yeah, that's beef. I feel like that's it'd Wednesday, be- <laughs> Thursday, Friday. <laughs> you lying? Yeah, because I think I think farming would be harder. Because a lot more science goes into that. Yeah. yeah, a lot of science and planning. Oh yeah. yes, because because isn't we, like half the year planning, and then the other half is that like the 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 labor part of it? I think it's yeah. a lot of labor part. Because yeah, my but but it's a lot of planning because one you gotta you know you know decide what you're going to grow. Harvest. Yeah, and then uh, yeah, eat. You have to grow certain things at certain times, and then you got to make sure that your soil's right for what you're growing, and you can't just keep growing the same thing over and over and over again. Right. You got to so, switch it up a lot. Yeah. Was it uh, my friend's dad? He's a farmer, or he works at a farm, and so he he has, like, weird hours because, like, there's certain things that you have to do, you know, for the day. Like, sometimes in the morning you got to – get the sprinklers ready and all that at night you got to do certain things for the for the plants and all that and there's certain like months where you're just consistently like boom 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 hard yep. and then there's other months where it's lightish but you still got to do some things yeah yeah it's just a lot of work too much work for me but i i don't know i was still i would still like to try it with animals hmm. yeah Give you some chickens. Nah. I don't like noisy animals. <laughs> <laughs> they're all noisy. Nah. They're, they're all pretty noisy. Yeah, yeah they're, they're all pretty noisy, dude. I wouldn't mind having, like, the typical, like, you know, barn house with, like, a couple of cows, like, maybe two or three, a horse and a couple of chickens. I think that would be pretty cool. I wouldn't get any horses. Really? Nah. nah. Probably get one horse. They're kind of, I hate to say this, but they're kind of like a worthless animel. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, there's, yeah, there's nowadays, no, yeah. Well, no, it's not that. It's just, there's no, you can't really profit off of them at all. Yeah. Besides just freaking uh, doing the hor- horse runs and all that. Yeah, realistically. And that's illegal in this state. What? Yeah, you, Do what? Anything that involves them doing non-horse things, it's illegal. Like, they banned all that all that shit. Like, show horses. Yeah. Uh, hor- Racing horses. All that stuff. They can't do that anymore. No because, way. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I because, don't think so because I know a lot of people who do all that stuff. I mean, they can do it, but I mean, if they do it and get caught, they can get in trouble for it. Well, because uh, I know uh, my nieces. Well, I, I, do I, I don't know what I don't know what they're doing, but yeah, like yeah, rodeos, rodeos and what shit. The fuck? Mm. Like, I because no I know way. my nieces, they they have like horse riding lessons or something. yeah. That that's a, again, that's a normal that's a normal horse thing to do. What are you talking about, like, non-normal? Not, like, pulling shit, like, stuff like that. Oh, like, like, like actual labor, yeah, stuff like, like that? Yeah, because, oh. because they're, they, they have those things called, like, cannon bones or something like that. Yeah. It's, like, really sensitive. So whenever they do, like, whenever you see those horses that do, like, the strut walking and stuff like that, that's really bad for their back and legs and stuff. And so, like, the the, the running around and all that shit, like, the, the, the uh, abrupt stopping and shit like that, unless it's on their own, like, at least in shows, stuff like that. Oh, yeah. They, they can really fuck themselves up. Mm. And I mean, if, like the show stuff. Yeah, like yeah. And if they're trained, quote unquote, trained to do that shit, they can really, it really fucks them up because those, I think it's called like a cannon bone. It's like the most sensitive bone in their body and that's that's their mobility. And like a lot of people were doing that. They've always done that for years. But then horses started, you know, they're like, oh, well, horse breaks his bone, you got to put him down. There's Because they'll never recover from it. Right. So they're like, we don't want, you know, like it's it's irresponsible for for the owners to be doing that or mm. something, mm. so like it, it makes sense. But 
I don't think it's illegal. Well, I mean, but... shit. I mean, it fucking fighting dogs is illegal and people do it all the time. Yeah, you know, That's what I'm saying. It's still done, yeah. but it's it's like either looked down upon or it's illegal or some shit like that. Like they just don't like it because the 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 bones and uh, the and all the horse's legs are so sensitive. Like they're right. they're they're holding up however much that horse weighs, and then they're you're you know it's supposed to just be running and doing natural horse shit. It's weird. Well, either way, if I if I were to have a horse at a farm, I would just use it to, you know. Get around. Get around. Because, it, one, it's fun. It's a horse. Horses scare the shit out of me. I haven't rode a horse in a while, but still. It scares the shit out of me. Yeah? It's too, it's just too big. Oh, yeah. And then, two, you can rent out the horse, get, a, like, a wagon, and then do, like, weddings and all that stuff. Be fun. Yeah, there's money. I guess there is a little money to be made, yeah. but. Not a lot. Not as much as you can get out of, like, cows and goats and shit. Oh, yeah, for sure. But it, it's just more for fun. And you, you can find creative ways to use it, you know? Because there's a lot of people who want, like, one of those, like, carriages. I would, use it, I would use it as a drive-by. <laughs> drive-by vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> you're, the, you're, the, you're the only person. No, you just don't eggs. <laughs> that you get from your farm. And plus, I see, like, a lot of people when I, like, drive into Cade Lake, a lot of, like, People have their horses, and it just looks like fun, you know, in the fields and all that. I could be wrong, but I remember Tuck, Tuck and his dad were telling me about something like that like years ago. What? Uh, something about the horses with the legs and the bones and shit like that, and they're like, they're they're cracking down on people doing shit like that mm. with their horses. But I don't know, that was years ago. And also, I was a fucking drunk back then, so. Right. I may have heard them totally wrong. I mean, we can look it up. Well, Navarre's not here, and I don't feel like looking. So. <laughs> and I don't even know how to word that. Yeah, yeah. is you know, show what, horses what, illegal? What can, what what can you and cannot do with your horses or something? I don't know. That just sounds something sexy. Yeah, sounds like we're in Brazil now. <laughs> Brian, would you get a horse or a farm? Hmm. All right. It Come maybe on, if I could get like I guess training on you know really how to run it properly. Hmm. I guess you know because if I, if I were to just go out right now and be like like say I had the money to go get a farm or a ranch or whatever and get a bunch of animals, I really wouldn't know the first thing to fucking do. Mm. Like what all I would need to do. Well, most ranchers who have their own ranch grew up on a ranch. Yeah. yeah. Or worked at a ranch or something. Yeah. Right. The only thing that I think I would really either want to do as far as like, since obviously I'm probably not going to afford a, a ranch anytime soon, would either be shearing the sheeps, mm. big money in that, or changing horseshoes. But that oh, requires yeah. a lot of fucking yeah. experience. Yeah. But not only that, are you willing to risk it? Well, it depends on how good you are. Some of those people get like 80 bucks a shoe. Oh, yeah. And imagine get, charging 80 bucks a shoe and there's like 50 horses or maybe not that many, but like 10, 20 horses or whatever at a ranch. Yeah. You you got a few months worth of rent right there, buddy. You lying. Pay me under the table, too. I ain't trying to get it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not claiming this on my taxes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh... I wouldn't mind, you know, shaving sheep. It seems like, you know, I wouldn't be doing any harm to them. It's weird that one lady on TikTok, she, uh, she's like, you can, you can manhandle them. They, they don't feel this. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, you can literally like do all these things. They, they, their spine turns sideways in like a U. And she's just like, she's like, I know it looks like I'm hurting them, but no, they're fine. Mm -hmm. She's like, it's, 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 she's like, it's an inconvenience to them because they're being held in place. But she's like, it doesn't hurt them. But if they overgrow their wool. Then that's when it mm -hmm. becomes harmful to them, which yeah. is interesting. Yeah, yeah. Animals. I've seen like uh, like videos of like like uh, sheep that were like I guess neglected or, right. ran or, away or some yeah ran away and they found it and it was like all overgrown and I was like damn yeah because like it, you, you couldn't even like really see its face because mm -hmm. it was so overgrown. There's that one. Uh, it's not a video. It's just a picture of that one. It was like a black sheep with that head overgrown. And it literally just, it was just standing in the middle of a field. And, like, people were, like, looking at it. And, like, the caption was, like, Look, poor, uh, poor guy or poor girl, whatever it was, has been here for four days in the same spot. Because it, 
They the, can't move. Yeah, it was yeah. just it, like it couldn't move and it couldn't see. Dang. So it was just like just chilling there. <laughs> I could, I could just see like a little puff ball. Just yeah, just, just like well, Dang. this is how I die. <laughs> this is it. This is it. It's the end. <laughs> not from the cold, just from not moving or heat. Yeah. Imagine carrying yeah. like a couple hundred pounds worth of fucking wool on you. Imagine the sweat, bro. Ooh, I bet you that bad boy stunk. But that motherfucker has some strong ass legs whenever they got it off, though. See, a lot. Like that one dude from Naruto who had the the little, uh, you know what I'm talking about? The leg the, weights. Yeah, the leg oh, weights. Oh, yeah. Shit, yeah. <laughs> some hoes fucking broke the earth when he dropped them. I was like, them. God damn. He was already fast as fuck with them yeah. on. <laughs> and then when he takes them off, I was like, God, Lee. Well, you ready to wrap this up and go fuck on the bar for a little bit? Yeah. Yeah. All right, puto mi putos. Yeah. We're going to go harass Navar for a couple minutes or whatever. I don't know. Well, we'll see if he's awake. Uh, he, he said he was doing homework, so. Time is it? Oh, oh, it's pretty early. Yeah. It's pretty early. Pretty early. Pretty early. Pretty early. All right, holes. We will catch y'all next week. That was episode 206. 206. All right, episode 206. Catch you next week. Peace. Peace. Thank you.